honor of Kathleen. When you finally make your entrance to that city, all jazz rules and bright golden George and I, we hate we're not there doing this. George has had some health problems. We're not going to go into all that. But George lost his mother during COVID, and COVID has taken so much from this country. But I hope this video will give a little bit of comfort. As I was praying about it this morning, George wanted me to, to uh, kind of speak because... Um, Kathleen was family, you know, and I was one of her favorite cousins. And uh, I talked with ZT the other day, and he told me, he said, me and Kathleen used to be very close. 
but we've always been a close family. But as George was singing that song, it took me back to this family ha is no stranger to sadness and death, but they're also not strangers to strength and courage and continuing on no matter what this family may have faced. But Kathleen's with her mama and her brothers. It's gone on before. Steve has gone on. But I got Daddy's Bible here. Her Uncle Owen is gone on too. She loved her Uncle Owen. And in chapter 14, me and George was talking about it. Daddy was here doing this funeral for Kathleen. He would read this passage in chapter 14 of John. It says, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And when we lost Grandma, Grandma Sharon, Daddy was so sad. And at the funeral, he reached over in the coffin and he touched Grandma and he felt a tingle. And he just hollered out because the preacher said to be absent in the body means to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. So in honor of Kathleen today, we, we feel like we should be there, but we're not. And I hope Jay, Lorna, uh, grandchildren, I don't want to leave anybody out. Mary, her last sibling is gone. Lost all of her brothers and her brothers, and now her sister. So, we hope that this is going to give you some kind of peace because we know I, I'm so thankful. I know people are sick of hearing me say it, but I am so thankful. I have been, I have just praised God for that last opportunity at Michelle's that when she had the party for Ariel, that I was able to hug her. And one of the last things I ever said to, to Kathleen was, I love you. And she said, I love you too. And there's nothing any better than that. No greater love. Yes. But Kathleen was a lot to a lot of people. She, 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 when Amy saw her the other day, she said, Mama, I remember sis. I remember sis now. I actually called her sis a couple of times the other day. She said, Phyllis, this is Kathleen. I said, I'm sorry, Kathleen. It just, uh, it was just like looking at sis. It brought, and it brought that back to Amy. And Amy loved her some sis now. There's a lot of people grieving at, at this loss. Her children and her grandchildren and her sister, nieces and nephews. And, and uh, don't want to leave out Joey. I found out that he talked to Kathleen almost every day. What a loss. I remember when I lost Roger, Roger called me every day. A void that's going to take a long time to fill. So we love you, Kathleen. And and she just, she was kind of a centerpiece. That Thanksgiving came and she liked to cook her collards and her greens and stuff. And she liked to cook Thanksgiving and she loved to go. She was in her 70s and nothing stopped her. She'd get in the car and just keep on going. She just kept right on going. And uh, one of the, you know, I, I, when I talked to Mary the other day, she said when her and Chris got back, Kathleen's been over there and her and Lorna Jean had cleaned up the house. And, but Mary, this is for you, honey. She said, but Mary, you know, Kathleen got ready to leave the other day. She said she got a hold of her. She just hugged her. And she said, Kathleen, thank you. Thank you for coming over here and helping me with Chris and, and just held on to her and said, I love you. Kathleen was a little bit like sis. She kind of stern in her emotions sometimes and I could just about see, okay, I could just about see her responding the way sis might would have responded. But we, we're gonna miss you, Kathleen. But just like that song just said, we will see you again. You are there with loved ones. And 
I told George just a few minutes ago before we started this, I said, George, we're getting older so fast. And you know what his response was? We'll see him before too long. <laughs> that was his response. It won't be long and we'll see him. So I hope that you know that she is somewhere and she's in a safe place. She's not suffering. She didn't have to tarry long here and suffer. Just a few days before she died, she was living. Hallelujah. Kathleen was still living. Hallelujah. And and it was it it was she was gone suddenly, which I'm sure has left the, the family grieving more than than I could even imagine. Because I grieved just because I saw her the other day. But I was grieving, but I also was happy that I had that opportunity to be with her. So, if I'm not mistaken, and I hope I'm not, I think that Steve really liked this song. That first song is just a celebration of where she's at and that one day we'll go be with her. But Steve really had a, a he really liked this song and we thought it would be appropriate to, to sing this. God sent his son. They called him.
Kathleen's memory. We, 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 we loved you, we loved her. And this is really a time of celebration because there we will go as we're known and, and there'll be no more remembrance of sorrow, death, pain, anything that, that plagued um, God's people on this side will be gone. And, and in that mansion that he's going to prepare for yes. us, we will be forevermore. Yes. Giving God praise and glory and honor for he alone is worthy. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. Do you want to close with her? you want me to? I'll do it. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you now to close out this, this little part that we put in here, Lord. And we just ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, your precious son, Lord, who gave all on Calvary, Lord, and who has dedicated eternity to his people whom he came back to serve and to love and to show us how to love and to show us how to, how to love you and, and one another, Lord. We just ask you now, Lord, that you'll give comfort and assurance to these people, Lord, to these these family members that are left here in sorrow, Lord. We know you have sorrow, but Lord, you, we want you to also feel the victory that is in death through Jesus Christ our yes. Lord. O oh, death, where is thy victory? O oh, oh, grave, where is the sting? Where is the sting of sin? It's gone. Jesus took it upon yes. his own flesh and, and made a mockery of it at Calvary. And Lord, we thank you for that wonderful gift yes. of salvation that we all have in common. And we thank you, Lord. And we ask you to bless and keep this family in close love and confidence in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We love it all. We love all of this family. It's always we've always been close to this family. Mama and sis were so close and it just and daddy was almost like a daddy or or, or somebody to come to a lot of the family went to. I know Kathleen and, and Mary did. So it just kinda continued on and it still goes right on down with Michelle and Amy and Missy and Ariel and John and and we just love all of you. We don't want to leave out anybody. All of her grandchildren, her children, her grandchildren, and Lord, all of her loved ones. We love y'all. Until we see you again, Kathleen, we love you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm.